welcome you all to principles of organic synthesis presently we study electrophilic aromatic substitution in this topic so far we had two lectures the first lecture we studied the principles and friedel craft reactions the second lecture we saw the formulation and uh, manic reactions in this lecture we will try to cover nitration sulfonation and halogenation reactions as all of you know very well nitration is a fundamental and important transformation organic synthesis because this compound serve as precursor to synthesize variety of compounds that are important in medicinal and material sciences here an example shown for the nitration usually as you can see here and the nitration is done using a mixture of nitric and sulfuric acid if you carry out the reaction the aromatic benzene ring and if you carry out the reaction at 30 to 40 degree celsius you will be able to produce nitrobenzene as a product so now if you look at compare the nucleophilicity of this aromatic ring is less nucleophilic comparing to this because due to the electron withdrawing nature of the nitro group therefore it doesn't undergo further nitration at this temperature however when you heat the reaction to 90 to 100 degree celsius you can also try to introduce another nitro group at meta position you can get in this way 13 nitro 13 dinitro benzene as the product so to introduce further nitro group you have to carry out the reaction under vigorous condition using a fuming nitric acid as well as fuming sulfuric acid mixture the reaction is very slow you have to carry out the reaction several days so that you can end up with a 135 trinitro benzene as the product so if you want to make this trinitro benzene you have to carry out the reaction as you can see here and a vigorous reaction conditions you will be able to get this compound as a product however if you if you compare the reactivity of uh, benzene with uh, toluene toluene is uh, about 25 times shows greater reactivity comparing to benzene because due to electron donating nature of the methyl group once we have the electron donating group the reaction can be facilitated therefore uh, what normally we do when we want to make trinitro benzene we start with the toluene as the substrate so when you do the nitration with the toluene uh, you see a mixture of hno3 and sulfuric acid and you will be able to end up with try nitro toluene as a product so instead of uh, doing directly with the benzene ring what you can do you take start with toluene so when you react with a mixture of uh, nitric and sulfuric acid you will be able to get this uh, try nitro toluene as a product once if you form this one you can try to oxidize the methyl group into carboxylic acid using k2cr2o7 in acidic medium so when you oxidize you can convert into corresponding carboxylic acid so when you heat this compound you can lose carbon dioxide and you will be able to get trinitro benzene as a product so this one of the common method we use to if you want to make trinitro benzene and you can carry out under milder conditions and once you form this trinitro toluene you can try to oxidize this uh, methyl group into carboxylic acid when you heat it it can undergo decarboxylation to give trinitro benzene as a product now let us look at the mechanism of this transformation if you look at here you have the nitric acid which acts as a base and this lone pair can pick up this proton so then you'll be able to get this and plus this mixture once you form this one now it can lose water molecule so you can generate in this way nitronium ion which is the electrophile in the nitration 
and when you take a mixture of uh, nitric acid and sulfuric acid, nitric acid acts as a base, it can deprotonate uh, you can from the sulfuric acid and you can generate nitronium ion which acts as an electrophile in this reaction. Once you form this one, now it can act as a nucleophile, can undergo addition reaction as you can see here, then you will be able to get this intermediate carbocation intermediate. Once you form this one, now this can lose proton and then you will be able to get nitrobenzene as the product. This is slow, this is fast. So simple, if you look at here, so this the substituent also very important. Already we have seen the first class, if you remember, the effect of substituent plays very important role uh, when you do the electrophilic substitution. In this case, and when you have, uh, if you take nitrobenzene as the substrate, when you do the nitration, always the nitration takes place in the meta position, not and ortho and uh, para position. It does not take place here and selectively it undergoes reaction meta position. On the other hand, if you take toluene as a substrate, the nitration takes place ortho para position, there is no reaction at the meta position. So, this can be easily understood by drawing the resonance structure of this intermediate. And for example, if you have the nitrobenzene as the starting material, when you do the nitration, If you do the nitration at the meta position, you have this carbocation which can You can try to write resonance structure of this uh, carbocation. As once you form this one, now you can write the other one. So, if the reaction takes place at the meta position, you will have these three possible resonance structure. On the other hand, when if the reaction takes place at para position, for example, so what will happen if it happens at the para position? you will have this intermediate. Once this can be written, resonance form of this is, you can tr try to draw like this. This is uh, least stable because you can see here you have the electron withdrawing group in this carbon where you have the positive charge. This is uh, less stable. And similarly, when you write for the ortho uh, nitration, in case if you want to introduce nitro group ortho position, you can also try to.
these are the possible resonance structure. If you look at here, this is least stable. So if you compare uh, the reaction with the meta substitution here, you can have three possible resonance structure of this intermediate. If you compare this one uh, with this uh, ortho para and ortho uh, substitution intermediate and you will have the less stable intermediate in both these cases. Therefore, whenever you have the electron withdrawing group in the aromatic ring and when you carry out the electrophilic substitution reaction, always uh, the substitution takes place at meta position. On the other hand, when you have the electron donating group, when you carry out the reaction with the electrophile, the substitution takes place ortho and uh, para positions. If you try to draw the resonance structure of this intermediate for this, then you will be able to find and, uh, the positive charge will come in this position. So, already you have the electron donating group and the positive charge can be stabilized more, then you will have the more stable intermediate when the reaction takes place and ortho and para position. Now, let us look at one application of the nitro compound. If you look at here and uh, this uh, just we have seen nitration when you take the mixture of uh, nitric acid and sulfuric acid it is actually a base, this is a acid you can generate the nitronium ion. Once you form this excess electrophile it can undergo reaction with the aromatic ring you can get the nitro benzene just we have seen and this nitro group can be readily reduced to amino amine and in this case nitro benzene can be reduced converted into aniline using tin HCl. Once you form this one, you, you can try to react with the sodium nitrite and HCl. Uh, the temperature is very crucial here at 0 to 5 degrees Celsius and you can make the diazonium salt as a product. You have to, uh, the temperature is crucial in this reaction. This we will study in detail when we uh, see the application of this compound. However, here see, we will see one application here and so the nitro compound can be convert into diazonium salt. This can be the easily understood if you have the sodium nitrite. So, when you react with HCl, you will form HNO2, once you form the HNO2, now when you since you carry out the reaction acid medium, you can do the protonation. So, when you react with the one, this can undergo addition reaction here, then you will lose water molecule you will be able to get so this can uh, lose proton so you will be able to have so this intermediate once if you have this one when you react with aniline it can undergo addition reaction. So, you will be able to this intermediate this can uh, convert into by proton transfer. So, when you represent of acid, you lose water molecule, you make
salt disol if you carry out the reaction in the present hydrochloric acid you will get this salt so in this way you can generate the disodium salt the temperature is crucial and so when you have the sodium nitrate and hcl you can form the disodium salt if you have the aniline you can form this salt which find wide applications in organic synthesis here once you form the disodium salt you can see here instead of aniline if you take this as a substrate and you will be able to form this salt once you form this salt now you can try to react with the dimethyl aniline and you will be able to get methyl orange so here shown the mechanism of this reaction so you will be able to get this intermediate once you have this intermediate and you will be able to get this salt uh, this we use as indicator so depends upon the ph and if acidic medium you can also make protonation here therefore uh, this compound uh, is known as methyl orange we use as indicator during the titration to find out the acidity of the reaction medium there are another example shown here let us take this compound ortho nitro aniline at which we use as a precursor to uh, make variety of heterosilic compound a cyclic compound if it has hetero atom like nitrogen we call them as heterosilic compound uh, ortho nitro aniline is used to as a starting material with uh, other reactant you can make variety of useful heterocyclic compound now let us look at it what we found in our lab now when you have this aniline derivative and when you react uh, this compound and with uh, a mixture of copper 2 chloride and uh, feno3 you can see here the ratio 20 mole percent and 35 mole percent when you take this to mixture and uh, dichlo one to dichloroethane as solvent room temperature you mix this one you will be able to introduce nitro group you can in this way you can make the ortho nitro derivative when you go for the effect of substituent and you can see for example the benzene ring can have variety of substituent like methyl group here you can have a halogen and methyl methoxy group and you can have ethyl group this unsubstituted one you can see here the substituent present in different position so a meta position with respect to this uh, cn bond and you have here dimethyl group at the ortho position here also you have so you have here so methyl group and uh, para position and you can hear nitro group if we remember we just we have seen nitro benzene is a, you have to heat at around 100 degree celsius uh, introduce another nitro group to make 13 dinitro benzene but here at room temperature using this combination of this copper to chloride fno3 you can try to introduce nitro group and you can see here if you have the nitro group para position you can introduce another nitro group uh, meta with respect to this nitro group ortho with respect to the amino group you can introduce another nitro group and you can also have amide for example astamide if you have it you can also try to uh, introduce nitro group usually when you do the nitration so when you do the nitration with the hno3 and sulfuric acid always you will end up with a mixture of compound so this is major is uh, minor that means um, both reasonable amount you can so you will get always mix of compound after the reaction what we do we try to remove the uh, this one by hydrolysis you can get in this way so a mixture of compound but here you can see in this substrate particularly you can selectively introduce the nitro group the meta position with respect to that and with respect to this at the ortho position so you can carry out the reaction this is a recent development in the nitration reactions using transition metal catalysis you can use funo3 as a nitro source you can do the nitration 
uh, selectively. So, you have the two aromatic ring among this one of them selectively undergoes reaction therefore, we call it as chemo selective and regio selective means you have the different position ortho and meta different positions, but you can selectively try to do the nitration one of the position therefore, we call this reaction as uh, chemo and uh, regio selective CH nitration. So, the mechanism of the reaction shown here what happens first is the substrate the lone pair of the nitrogen makes chelation with the copper 2 chloride and which then undergoes reaction with the FeO 3 through ligand exchange and you can get this intermediate uh, transfer the nitro group once we have this one and now you have the lone pair. So, this nitration takes place as shown here then so you will have this intermediate and uh, this one once if you form this one then you lose the proton. So, you can get this uh, uh, nitro compound. Once you form this one they say what you can do you can try to this itself very useful compound this uh, find a wide application in medicinal chemistry because this moiety uh, this known as tetrasol in place of carboxylic acid they use this one this uh, has uh, broad applications in uh, medicinal chemistry. If you want you can try to remove this derivative portion then therefore, you will be able to get ortho nitro anilin as a product the reaction condition shown here you can get very good yield. So, if you want to make ortho nitro anilin we are going to see another approach in the next uh, slide, but one of the uh, now the mild method is you can take uh, metal salt with uh, copper to chloride you can keep this substituent here. So, once we have this one this can chelate with your copper salt can activate and uh, can bring it the nitro group. So, in this way the reaction can selectively take place this position you will be able to get the corresponding nitro compound. So, now let us look at the other reaction in place of uh, nitro group you can also use nitro. So, see here uh, this uh, reaction has some limitations when you want to introduce nitro so group and it works well with the phenol and uh, tertiary aromatic amines you cannot carry out the reaction with a simple uh, aromatic like benzene and it works well with uh, when you have the OH group in the aromatic ring phenol and substituted phenol tertiary amines they work very well. When you use primary and secondary amine they undergo reaction with the nitroso group. Uh, so, the reaction does not take place. Now, let us look at the mechanism of this reaction. So, sodium nitrite as we have seen earlier, earlier we have seen the reaction of nitric acid when the sulfuric acid here in place of nitric acid we use sodium nitrite, sodium nitrite with the sulfuric acid can form this uh, sodium hydrogen sulphate and uh, HNO2. Once we form this one this now as we have seen there it can act as a base it can deprotonate the proton from the sulfuric acid and you can form this. Once you form this one now it can loose water molecule and you will be able to form the nitrosonium ion as uh, intermediate. This is uh, actual electrophile in this case. In the previous case when you take sulfuric acid and nitronium ion is intermediate here nitrosonium ion is intermediate once you form this one now this can undergo reaction with the uh, for in the case of uh, beta naphthal and how they you have to take uh, the beta naphthal with the uh, base like sodium hydroxide once uh, if you on uh, basic condition uh, you will be able to form salt. So, then you add sodium nitrite and uh, sulfuric acid. So, once if you have this one then You have this, this can lose proton. Since you carry out the reaction acidic medium, so 
So you can get the nitroso compound. Some examples are shown here uh, the reaction of sodium nitrite with this uh, methoxyphenol is shown. This reaction can be carried out in the presence of anhydrous carboxylic acid. You can introduce nitroso group. And similarly, here and pair operation you have the amide. This also can be carried out. The reaction um, when you carry out the reaction of this with HNO2 in the presence of copper to uh, sulfate, you can introduce nitroso group. And here an application shown, when you have this uh, derivative, heterocyclic compound, you can react with uh, HNO2, the acid, you can introduce nitroso group. Once if you have the nitroso group in the system, you can try to reduce to uh, NH2 and this can be coupled with this one and you will be able to form adenine. So, synthesis of adenine is actually carried out like this and you can introduce nitroso group nitrogen group can be reduced to the corresponding NH2. Once you have this one, now you can try to react and you can get this uh, compound. So, now let us look at sulfonation. So far we have seen the nitration and the next we have seen the reaction of uh, nitrosonium ion to introduce nitrosyl group. We have seen one application for each reaction. Now, uh, let us look at the sulfonation. In place of uh, nitric acid, here we are using sulfuric acid. One of these is acts as a base, it can deprotonate and you can form this. Once you form this, can lose uh, water molecule and you can make the sulfonium ion. Once you form this one, now this acts as electrophile in this reaction. This uh, this selectivity will be similar to the nitration. And when you react with benzene, as we have seen, it can undergo addition reaction. You will have this intermediate. Once you form this intermediate, deep cleavage of this carbon hydrogen bond can give this benzene sulfonic acid as the product. So, you can also introduce sulfonic acid substituent as shown here, you can use SO3 uh, in the presence of sulfuric acid, you can uh, make this uh, benzene sulfonic acid. Uh, when you react with sodium chloride, you can make the uh, salt. Uh, here the lone pair of from the oxygen picks the proton from here, once you form this, you form this sulfonium ion and this uh, salt. Once uh, form this one as just we have seen and we have the benzene ring. Just we have seen it can undergo reaction, you can get the benzene sulfonic acid. Now, let us look at one application. When you take the astamide, when you have the aniline react with acetic anhydride, if you have the aniline, you can react with acetic anhydride in the presence of base like triethylamine. So, you will be able to form this amide. Once you form the amide, now just we have seen the nitration. If you use this, uh, a mixture of nitric and sulfuric acid, the nitration take place and ortho as well as uh, para position will get mixture of dinitro amides. But uh, in the case of uh, sulfonation, selectively the sulfonation takes place as a para position comparing to ortho position. You can introduce the sulfonic acid group at the para position. Once if you have this one, now you can do the nitration. When you do the nitration, so now since this is the electron withdrawing group, this is electron donating group, so the nitration will take place with respect to this ortho position, with respect to this one meta position, the reaction is quite efficient. In this way, uh, you can try to introduce nitro group. Once if you introduce a nitro, nitro group, when you react with the dilute acid, you can do desulfonation. So, you can end up with this uh, ortho nitro derivative. This when you do the hydrolysis and you can convert into ortho nitro aniline. So, if you want to make ortho nitro aniline, one of the uh, effective and uh, straightforward synthetic route is that you just start with aniline, protect the aniline with the uh, acetyl group. Once you form the astamide, now you can try to do sulfonation. 
the sulfonation is takes place selectively so at the uh, para position so selectively you can introduce the sulfonic acid group at the para position once if you have this one now you can do the nitration and which can take place selectively at the ortho position with respect to this amide and meta position with respect to sulfonic acid uh, substituent once you form this one now you can try to uh, do c desulfonation and you can end up with this ortho nitro derivative once if you have this one you can do hydrolysis you can do remove the acetyl group i can you can get this ortho nitro anilin as the product uh, so far we have seen so the nitration and uh, sulfonation reactions now let us look at the halogenation reaction the first example involves the reaction of molecular chlorine with uh, benzene to give the chlorobenzene as the product this can be carried out in the presence of aluminum chloride and when you have this this is a weak electrophile when you have the lewis acid so now the benzene can react this activated electrophile uh, this weak electrophile when you have the lewis acid you form this kind of uh, activated electrophile now the benzene uh, can react this electrophile and you can end up with this uh, intermediate once you have this one now this you have this can deprotonate then you can get chlorobenzene as the product to generate hcl as a byproduct in this reaction so if you have molecular chlorine in the presence of lewis acid you can try uh, try to activate to a good electrophile now the benzene ring can undergo uh, reaction you will be able to uh, get this chlorobenzene as the product and similarly you can also try to react with uh, br2 molecular bromine in the presence of lewis acid as uh, just we have seen here also it can uh, react you will be able to form so this activated electrophile once we have this one now it can uh, react and you will be able to form so this uh, intermediate once we form this one as just we have seen and you will be able to form the bromobenzene and hbr and you will be able to generate the lewis acid so to carry out the reaction you will be able to you need a catalytic amount of the lewis acid and where you will generate a stoichiometric amount of the acid as the byproduct in this reaction you can carry out uh, the reaction of molecular chlorine and bromine however when you go for the Uh, reaction with iodine is a very weak electrophile comparing to uh, chlorine and uh, molecular chlorine and bromine so this so one of the so as soon as you react and you form the iodobenzene once you form the iodobenzene hydrogen iodide the reaction uh, is very less effective it goes back to the reversible reaction therefore if you carry out the reaction in the presence of uh, oxidizing agent like uh, hno3 and this can react with iodine and you will be able to form this uh, intermediate once if this acts as electrophile in this once you form this one then this can react and then you will be able to have the so iodobenzene as the product this is the byproduct in this reaction therefore in the case of reaction of iodine with the aromatic system if you carry out the reaction the presence of oxidizing agent like hno3 the reaction can be carried out to get iodobenzene as the product So here an example shown which has been developed in our group and what we so one of the recent advances in this uh, halogenation reaction as we have seen for example the same substrate this aniline derivative when you have this compound when you take nhalo succinamide in the presence of uh, trifluoromethane sulfonic acid at moderate temperature the presence of palladium acetate and you can try to 
do halogenation at the ortho position via CH activation in this way you will be able to introduce uh, here Cl, Br, iodine all you can react uh, with the N chloro, N bromo, N iodosaccinamide you can introduce the halogen or ortho position selectively. Uh, here also if you look at here you have two aromatic ring one of the aromatic ring selectively undergoes reaction this is because and when you have the metal it may activates make chelation activate the CH bond and the halogenation takes place selectively in this carbon and when you see the substrate you can have you can carry out the reaction the variety of substrates. For example, you can carry out the reaction uh, chlorination you can in good yield similarly you can also carry out the bromination here also and you can also have substituent like fluoromethyl group and you can try to selectively do the halogenation in good yield. For example, shown here you can also do iodination in very good yield. You can have a variety of substituent aromatic ring however, the halogenation can be selectively carried out at the ortho position by activation of the CH bond through cyclometallation. And this can be understood when you go for the reaction mechanism you have the substrate the palladium acetate in this case and you have the lone pair it may chelation with the palladium acetate and you will be able to form this intermediate and once you form the intermediate it can activate the CH bond through cyclometallation you will lose one molecule of acetic acid LH means acetic acid. So, you can make this intermediate once you form this intermediate and this is can undergo oxidative addition with this n halosaccinamide. So, oxidative addition this is 2 it will go to this intermediate once you form this intermediate now this can uh, give the product by reductive elimination you can give the product by reductive elimination here and you will be able to form the halogenated compound and uh, so you have one molecule of acetic acid and then you can regenerate the palladium acetate to complete the catalyst cycle where you generate this is a byproduct and this is a recent advance you can see here you can carry out the bromination chlorination iodination uh, using transfer metal catalysis at moderate temperature and mild reaction conditions to selectively you can get the halogenated compound there are also method is now uh, available you can also try to selectively similar way try to activate the meta as well as para CH bond you can try to introduce halogen atom so that you can carry out the reaction at milder reaction conditions. Some other reactions are shown here. So, this example involves in addition to that whatever we have seen the nitration, sulfonation, halogenation reactions you can also do the metallation here and when you have the phenol, phenol can be readily reacted with the uh, mercury acetate you can get this argono mercury acetate. Once if you have this argono mercury compound which can readily now it can react with the Cl minus and you can have this intermediate once if you have this one when you react with the I to molecular iodine you can introduce iodo uh, functional group here. Therefore, if you want to make 2 iodophenol what you can do you can try to react with mercury acetate you can make this argono mercury acetate as uh, product which can when you react with Cl minus you will be able to make this compound the mercury chloride once you form this one when you react with the molecular iodine and you can uh, produce the 2 iodophenol where you generate uh, this as a byproduct. Similarly, if you have this uh, compound uh, furon you can also try to react with the mercury chloride you can uh, make this argono mercury compound once you have this halo substrate then you can try to react with the molecular bromine or iodine and you can introduce uh, bromine iodine second position of this uh, furon derivative. So, these are some of the examples. So, you can also try to introduce halogen as we have seen you can do the metallation once if you have the metallation then you can introduce the halogen as we have seen the previous case where what you do you have introduced the palladium metallation you make carbon metal bond 
then you react with the n halosuccinamide uh, n chloro as well as bromo and iodosuccinamide you introduce uh, chlorine bromine iodine at the ortho position as we have seen this another example for metallation you can uh, try to react with mercury acetate you can make a carbon metal bond once you metal bond then you can try to react with molecular iodine and you can uh, do the iodination and similarly here also you make a carbon metal bond once you form this metal carbon metal bond you can try to react with molecular bromine and iodine in this way uh, you can make halogen atom in this uh, aromatic system here an example shown for the self desulfonation as just we have seen if you have this phenol derivative you can try to react with sulfonium ion you can introduce para position once if you form this one now for example here this uh, desulfonation is shown using br2 this acts electrophile when you have this one it can undergo addition reaction aromatic uh, addition followed by elimination you can addition you will have this compound once you form this one this can lose uh, so3 you can have this tribromophenol as the product so addition elimination basically you have the aromatic electrophile substituent product you substitute in place of uh, sulfonic acid you are here having br this is another example through desulfonation you can also introduce halogen the aromatic ring okay in this example you can see here the reaction of nitric acid is shown here and when you have this uh, functional group you can try to, to react with the excess uh, nitric acid you can generate the no2 plus so this acts as electrophile which can now readily undergo addition followed by elimination substitution reaction once you form this one in this way you can also remove the sulfur dioxide as is as you can see here and you can try to introduce the nitro group this also another example for electrophilic substitution uh, this when you have the phenol group and this can readily undergo reaction with this uh, nitronium ion and then you can uh, lose so3 in this way you can introduce the nitro group in summary today we have seen three uh, important transformations the first one we have seen the nitration there are several approaches are available to uh, for nitration so we have seen one of the common method that we use in the laboratory if you have the nitric acid and sulfuric acid uh, you will be able to generate nitronium ion once you form the nitronium ion which can act as a electrophile which can readily undergo reaction with the aromatic system like benzene uh, can undergo addition followed by elimination you can get the substituted compound nitrobenzene and if you have the electron withdrawing group reaction is very slow uh, we have seen one example if you have the nitrobenzene when you do introduce another nitro group the nitration takes place meta position however you have to carry out the reaction at higher temperature on the other hand if you have electron donating group for example if you have the methyl group the reaction is facilitated for example if you compare the reactivity of benzene with the toluene uh, for the nitration the toluene shows 25 times greater reactivity comparing to benzene because the benzene ring when you have the electron donating group the electron density is uh, rich and very good nucleophile it can readily undergo reaction with the electrophile and can undergo the substitution reaction and then we have seen one example uh, for the uh, synthesis of uh, methyl orange you can make uh, a diazonium salt you can try to reduce the nitro group using tin hcl you can then react with the sodium nitrate hcl you can form the diazonium salt once you have the diazonium salt you can try to react dimethyl aniline you can make methyl orange which we use indicator during the titration to find out the ph of the uh, reaction medium we also have seen introduction of nitroso functional group if we have sodium nitrite and when we react with h2so4 you can produce nitrosonium ion which acts as electrophile when this reaction has limitations whenever you have the substituent like oh group or tertiary amino substituent those substrate only can undergo reaction you can introduce the nitroso group uh, we have seen one example also you can try to reduce the nitroso group to amino group that can be used for the synthesis of adenine we have seen one example then we have seen the sulfonation reaction so in place of nitric acid if you have the sulfuric acid you can also can make sulfoxonium ion which can act as a electrophile one of the sulfuric acid acts as a base another acts as acid 
you can make sulfoxanium ion which can act as electrophile which can undergo reaction where we have seen one example if you have the amide substituent you can introduce the sulfonation at the para position and this once if you have this one this can be further uh, reacted for example you can do the nitration then you can do the desulfonation in this way you can make ortho nitronilin we have seen one example this is a very important precursor to make variety of compounds then we have seen how you can also carry out halogenation reaction and bromination chlorination can be carried out using molecular chlorine molecular bromine the presence of lewis acid like aluminum chloride and the fbr3 you can introduce the halogen atom in the aromatic ring and if you have in the case of iodine uh, we have seen that you have to use oxidizing agent like hno3 to push the reaction forward so in hno3 uh, the reaction can be facilitated you can make the iodo benzene then we have seen also examples where you can use the metallation for example uh, you by three chelation you can introduce the palladium metal if you have the aromatic ring for example we have seen one uh, aniline derivative we have the tetrasol substituent which can make chelation with your palladium activate the ch bond you make a carbon palladium bond once if you make the carbon metal bond you can try to react with the n halo uh, succinamide like uh, n chloro n bromo n iodo succinamide you can undergo oxidative addition followed by reductive elimination in this way you will be able to introduce halogen atom and this reaction can be carried out at moderate temperature then also we have seen uh, the other approach you can also use metallation for example if you have the phenol substituent you can try to react with mercury acetate and you can make the organo mercury uh, compound once you form this one then you can try to react with molecular iodine in this way you can do the iodination we also have seen the case of furon you can also try to react similar way with mercury chloride you can make the organo mercury compound once you form this one then you can try to react with molecular bromine and molecular iodine in this way you can try to introduce bromine and iodine in the case of uh, furon so these are very fundamental and uh, important reactions organic synthesis we uh, often use this reactions to uh, make this compound which serve as precursor to construct a complex molecules with this uh, we conclude this lecture thank you very much